It's called P2P, meaning peer-to-peer, -peer, because uh, you may have heard of peer-to-peer -peer networks as places where people download a lot of movies and music without paying for them. Um, the way it works is, normally when someone is streaming, for example, a radio, uh, when you go to um, listen to the radio, your computer, as the client, is connecting directly to RTE's server. Directly to oh, it was the craziest building in the street. Nine years I went past there, but I never knew what really happened. Yeah. So maybe you can tell me. Well, Enlighten me. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll try my best. <laughs> the Shomer Spree Collective have just moved into this building here behind. And today there was an attempt to, uh, to set up a live stream with a few different groups, with the Indie Media Group, with Shomer Spree. Uh, and different people who are working in different areas, individuals, etc. This week in Dublin there's been a thing called DEAF, D -E -A -F, which is the Dublin Electronic Arts Festival. As part of that there's been a thing called the Darklight Festival, which is a thing which runs yearly and it's a kind of uh, free forum for people to come uh, up to the digital hub to have a discussion uh, about the future of digital media. A few of us, uh, a few of us, some working inside as part of the Indie Media Collective and others who weren't, uh, approached Darklight and said that we'd like to try to set up a live stream. By that we mean set up a live radio broadcast uh, over the internet, just put it out there. So I'm here with Nathan, who's one of the, one of the Shomer Spree Collective. Could you just tell us a little bit about what was attempted today and what actually happened? Well, we attempted to broadcast video or get a live stream of video from the symposium into the building here and have people come out and actually get audio feed and perhaps um, project the blog onto the wall so people could react in real time and actually have an interactive space here since there wasn't enough room in the actual symposium. And so what we did is we got a computer and we got a speaker, hooked up the audio and we got... Um, a projector against the wall to project new media and other video stuff that was going on. And then after the symposium audio was over at around half five, we brought the speaker outside and then um, projected audio into the streets of different interviews from indie media and um, other videos. And some people came inside just off the street to see what was going on inside because it was pretty clear view from off the street. And um, that's basically a summary. It was kind of like a bit of an experiment. We were pushing the boundaries. We were trying to, we were trying to make something happen like with this live stream, which has never happened in terms of the Irish Indie Media Network so far. You don't have to physically be in somewhere, i.e. just over there, um, to participate in discussions that are going on over there. And if we can just take that and explore that fully and really explore what that can lead to, it's, it completely revolutionises the way this world can work. We hope that uh, this building here behind us, part of it will house the the new uh, Dublin Indie, Me Indie Media Centre, so as part of the Shomer Spree, as part of the, the Dublin Social Centre. Today was an experiment and it worked, so we're going to move on and take it from there, so thanks to all who've helped. I'll tell you something, promote it all you can, boys. Yeah. Fair play, yo. Have a good time, guys. <laughs> take it easy. The future keeps changing and I suppose this house is part of the future yeah. of how things are going to change in the art world in Dublin. I mean, it's only coming out of the cave now, so this is just an example of the future. Yo, show this please rockin'. Did you get that? <laughs>